Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl royalty back with another celebrity video. I know, I know it's about over 59,000 awards and it's just only fair <laughs> because it's been a while but the OGs of this channel, definitely this is how we used to have it. But y'all, these days is a little bit, you know, over the works to get this videos pushing out so we just have to come back and try old stuff and see how that goes we're just trying this out <laughs> let's see how this goes and just maybe we might be having more live okay so we are going to call this one the arrest series because a lot of the celebs are apparently are facing some kind of charges arrest and all of those stuff yes liberties are like normal people and so normal people get into trouble and so do celebs okay but before we get right into it i want to welcome you kings and queens welcome back to the channel please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and if this is your first time you're so welcome to my returning subscribers, you guys are the re -M -V -B -A. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, on the top of the arrest series, we have a couple of them. Christian Rock already, I put out a video about that. So what is the update? We have Travis Court, we have Justin Timberlake, and of course, Remy Ma's son, who is facing a M chat. But you guys, it's crazy all out there. First is Christian Rock. Christian Rock, like you already know, was arrested while she was trying to support her boyfriend, Blueface, in the courthouse. But, yo, she was picked up because she is a fugitive. She's running from the law. She has a case with Oklahoma. And, yo, she's on the run. She doesn't want to go because she doesn't want to be arrested. And, yes, she was literally hijacked and put in cuffs from the courthouse and was arrested as of the moment she has not been transferred yet to oklahoma but that case is still ongoing but yeah christian has more troubles on her plate according to los angeles time we'll just read it christian rock blueface occasional girlfriend and mother of the rapper's nine-month-old son has been sentenced to 30 days in jail and 12 months of probation after a messy assault and arrest that happened in November of 2023. Christian's rock arrest and sentencing were related to a November 10 assault against dancer James Wright, who was performing with singer Tamar Braxton at the Novo in downtown Los Angeles. Rock entered a non-contest plea on Friday ahead of sentencing, put into court records reviewed by the time and was given jail time plus probation that in part prohibits her from being within 100 yards of Wright or the Novo. And you guys, don't forget that Christian Rock is also wanted in Oklahoma. Yet an LAPD person says she's a fugitive from justice warrant. And you guys, it just keeps getting worse for Christian. Just like uh, Blueface mom said, by the way, she was interviewed. And she said it, the timing is just off. Having both parents of Christian Malone Jr. being in jail, Blueface and now Christian Rock, the timing is definitely off. And if you're wondering who's with a baby right now, well, according to Kalisa, the baby is with Christian's rock best friend, Marsh, as per her request. So that's her wish for where the baby should be. And uh, Kalisa would have preferred if the baby was with Blueface dad, but that's what Christian wished for and that was granted. It's just a messy situation with those two, y'all. And more on the arrest series is Travis Scott. Y'all, the Miami rapper Travis Scott was involved in a Yash the Stubborns situation. And y'all, it escalated and he is being arrested. Ciao. It just get crazy, y'all. But it is what it is. People get into trouble every day and so do celebs. So according to Bossip, Travis Scott is facing charges of trespassing after a warning and disorderly intoxication after an early morning arrest on Thursday in Miami, according to Miami Local 10 News. So what exactly happened? A caller told 911 dispatcher that three people were fighting on the yacht and when officers arrived, they reportedly found Scott standing by the dock yelling at people aboard the yacht. When officers asked Scott to have a seating, he initially complied but then disregarded the officer's command and repeatedly stood back up. Officers also reported smelling the strong odor of alcohol on Scott's breath. According to the police report, officers spoke with a complainant who said he did not want to press charges but wanted Scott 
cut off the ship. A sergeant at the scene once caught he needed to leave the dock or be arrested, but according to the reports, Court started walking away towards the boardwalk, but then began walking backwards, yelling obscenities at people on board the yacht. Mm. When Scott approached the vehicle that awaited him, he ordered one of his security guards out of the vehicle and reportedly told the officers if he gets in the vehicle, he's gonna catch a fade. At that point, the report states that Scott did leave the area, however, he returned about five minutes later and began approaching the yash again on foot. The police report says Scott disregarded officers' command not to go back to the yash, then he was taken into custody. Also, police stated that when Scott was taken into custody, he admitted he's been drinking alcohol and reportedly saying, it's Miami, y'all. What, what does it even mean? It's Miami. Does that mean anything goes down there? Obviously, without being told, just from the officer's report and um, the complainant, it's clear that he was under the influence. And that's what keeps happening to all these guys. they under the influence and then they get into trouble. You, knowing that you are a public figure, there's a way you should comport yourself. You should have some level of decorum. But I guess they, just like he said, it's Miami. Anything goes. They feel like being celeb. <laughs> They can just do what they like, but hey, it's the law is the law. And talking about being under the influence, the next on this arrest series is Justin Timberley. By now, you already know Justin Timberley was arrested for driving under the influence. Normally, people really don't care much when celebs get into trouble uh, with the law, especially when these are people who are known for achieving great heights and great things in the music industry, movie or sports, athletic. People really don't care much. They just want to forgive them real quick and move on. But it's not looking like the case for Justin Timberlake because the public seem to be wrapping him up pretty quick. So according to people, Justin Timberlake's arresting officer didn't know who he was and the public can't stop laughing. They turned this into a meme, y'all. So Justin said under his breath, according to people, this is going to ruin the tour. And the cop replied, what tour? Justin said, the what tour? <laughs> he was obviously on that under influence, I tell you. I don't mean to laugh, but it's funny because you needed to see the memes that have come out of this on X. That is crazy. But uh, child, things are not looking good for Justin Timberlake. What really happened, of course, Justin Timberlake was driving obviously under the influence and he was pulled over by an officer arrested on Long Island, New York after leaving the American Hotel in Sag Harbor on June 18. The New York Post page 6 reported that the cop wasn't aware of his fame or occupation. And that is a good thing because could it have changed, you know, the arrest if he knew who he was? I don't think so. But things are definitely not looking good for Justin and the are not really backing him up. One thing people fail to realize is that when there's certain track records about you, it affects how people try to rally around you in your days of adversity. Recently, there have been headlines of Justin Timberlake cheating on his wife, Jessica Bell, and so he's not particularly in the good grace of the public right now. His lawyers, they're currently on top of this, and I'm hoping they can, they can help him out of this one, but... It is what it is with Justin Timberlake. And finally, on this celebrity arrest series is Remy Ma's son, Jason. He's in trouble, y'all. He was charged with first degree M. And his mom, of course, Remy Ma, she is supporting him. He's rallying around him, saying more investigation is needed. Um, as for Papus, we do not know if he is going to stand 10 toes behind them. We know he's always rocked with them and stood with them in difficult times. I don't know for sure if he's going to be doing that right now, but we will find out. According to People, a spokesperson from the New York Police Department says that Jason Scott faces charges including first and second degree M, reckless endangerment in the first degree and two counts of criminal possession of a weapon in the second degree. Similarly, police stated that a 22-year-old Richard Swigert, which is the second suspect, facing multiple charges as well as Jason. 
has been charged with first degree M as well, reckless endangerment in the first degree and two counts of criminal possession of a weapon in the second degree. The charges stem from a shooting incident that occurred in Queens after authorities responded to a 911 call reporting a male at the intersection of 148th Street and Rockaway Boulevard on June 7, 2021. So it's been three years since this happened. Upon arrival, officers observed a 47-year-old male unconscious and unresponsive with <laughs> to the head and chest. Police said EMS responded to the location and transported the victim to Jamaica Hospital Medical Center where he was pronounced diseased. Investigators at the time believed that Scott and the second suspect are responsible for Gilbert's M in Queens. However, they also are exploring the possibility that it may have been a contracted assassination as TMZ noted. However, an arraignment is anticipated for Wednesday. And now, Remy Ma put out a statement. In a statement to TMZ, Remy vehemently denied the charges against her son. And this is what she said. We stand by Jason's innocence and pray that the NYPD will conduct a complete and thorough investigation to reveal the truth. This is undoubtedly a difficult time for my family and me why we sincerely appreciate the love and support we have received from all of you, we kindly ask for privacy as our legal team works to prove Jason's innocence. Of course, that is his mama. She is definitely going to rock with her son. Truth thick and thin, she will definitely do what is best for Of course, she already got him an attorney, Don Florio, who specializes in complex criminal cases. You guys, it's crazy out here on this celebrity street. A lot of arrests going on. I know it's summertime, people want to get high and they want to get intoxicated, but knowing fully where that you represent a large part of this public and there are a lot of younger people, young adults looking up to these guys, they need to comport themselves with more responsibility and also be accountable for their behavior, whether high, intoxicated or not they will be accountable and so they have to beforehand just be more careful you know but what are you taught you guys on all of this arrest queen rock 30 days behind bars and then her 12 months jail pending waiting for her you guys and then not even talking about the case with oklahoma it's crazy and then timberlake travis scott yo what are your thoughts on all of these guys their behavior that is costing them a lot of public reputation and of course their bag you guys share your thoughts in the comment section down below y'all know i love to hear your thoughts and opinion as always thank you so much for watching if you got to this point of the video do not forget to like share subscribe get us you guys to 60,000. okay subscribe like share and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and until the next time remember to pray walk out walk smart and slay. Bye-bye. <laughs>